Oh look, this is uh, Photinia serrata. Its flowers smell like human sperm or the other way around. I suppose they've been around for as long as humans or before, so I suppose maybe human sperm smells like the flowers. Look at the flies, they're attracted to it too. It's called Fertinia serrata, or well, the serrata bit is because the leaves have serrated edges. I don't know what Fertinia means. Perhaps it's because the leaves are bright red or something. The, some of the Fertinias have quite bright red leaves. Yes, look, it's ablaze in springtime. It attracts bees and flies. What, what else smells like sperm? Quite a few flowers smell like sperm. Carob blossom smells like sperm. Berberus blossom, blossom smells like sperm. Spanish chestnut blossom smells like sperm. Have I forgotten anything? Oh, have I forgotten? Quite a few plants smell like sperm. They're flowers. Lads love the leaves. They're supposed to smell like sperm. It does smell a bit that way. Carob, Spanish chestnut, yes. Berberus. Why do they smell like sperm? And it's to do with sex, of course. Yes, is it all a coincidence? It's to do with sex, yes. I wager it's probably the, yes, the pollen that smells like sperm. Probably, just like the male sperm cells. Probably. I'm not a biologist, though. I'm just a person who has fun in the garden and who wonders about things. The miracle of creation. Look, it's a beautiful spring day. Look at the beautiful sky. The scent of sperm is in the air and the scent of romance. All the bees, bees are doing their promiscuous cross-pollinating. <laughs> cross they're all female. female anyway. Why are they doing it? Perhaps they're, uh, yes, perhaps they're tired of all being female and want a bit of male principle, a bit of yin and yang or yang and yin, yin, whatever it is. Yes, that's probably it. I'm not an expert. I have no explanation for all these things. I don't pretend to. Well, I sound like I, I, sound, I sound like I do, though, don't I? Fertinia serrata.